Today I have a quick fix on how to unlock your head unit if you're replacing it if you have a crack one. Alright, I recently picked up this head unit from LKQ and as soon as I threw it on there, it loaded up. Uh, gotta open up the driver door. It'll load it up just like so, and then it said locked. So I took it to a mechanic and he couldn't get it programmed. So what I found out what you need to do is thanks to the mechanic, Gus at Technilu, uh, he gave me the idea of swapping out the chips. So here we have the original radio and it's cracked as you could see. And I had to open it up. I use a 10 Torx. See if it can focus. There it is. To remove all these little screws off the radio. Once you have all those screws off the radio, you have to pry these open. You have to be careful to pry them. I broke two of them on the original. I broke none on the second unit. That's how it is when you're first trying to figure out how to do it. So anyways, after you do that, what you need to do is you need to take all the screws off, pop this open a little bit, uh, actually take all the screws off, pop these to the side uh, so you can access this and then try to pop these open. It's going to take a little bit of process, but you'll get it out. Once you have that, this flaps open, this flaps open just like so. and you're able to access the chip. Now this chip is sat down on these two tabs just like so and it goes sitting in there and it has this ribbon cord that goes plugged in there. So what you have to do is you need to open up both radios and you need to swap out these chips. These are the chips that you need to swap out. This is the one that came from LKQ. The one that was originally here is in this one now. So all you have to do is remove this chip, install the original one, put the ribbon back on. You lift this up and you'll put the ribbon back in there. And once you have the ribbon back in there, you set the chip in its place inside these two little plastic tabs just like so and it slides right into place and then you just put the covers back on first this one here you got to put this bracket underneath like so first goes this bracket then this one here and then you slide in these tabs like so And once you have your head unit back together, you put it on and voila, it's working now. Just wanted to show you it's working real quick. I just have it there. I don't have it on a good channel, but everything is working. Touch button is working. Everything is now working. Sweet. Just wanted to share that because I did not find a video on YouTube and uh, now there is one of how to replace a original Chevy unit on a 2013 Traverse, I believe it is. Uh, most Chevy Cruises, a couple of GM vehicles that have that MyLink. Uh, you have to replace the chip in here because uh, you can't get these radios reprogrammed. You gotta have them rebuilt. Sweet. And that's essentially what I did by taking out this chip. I rebuilt this radio with this processing chip that's the original radio that goes to the stereo or to this car sweet thank you for watching please like and subscribe i went ahead and connected the old head unit just to show you guys what i'm talking about so here's going to start up locked so now that i replaced that chip inside the new one the old one's broken 
Now that one's locked because it has the old chip. And the replacement chip that was on the original is now back on this one. Let me show you real quick. All right, I have the one I just fixed. So let me go ahead and turn it back on. Boom. No lock. So now let's go ahead and set up the time and date. It is 11, what, 03, 04? Today is the 9th. Twenty nineteen. Happy New Year's everybody. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Alright, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.